Now I want to do a presentation for setting up a view, a secondary view on your document page that allows you to highlight or only show a selected, a selected parts. So let's do this from Pages. I've already, from Pages 3D, I've already loaded a document. Um, this is one of the tutorial documents. You can download these and modify this yourself. But what it has is a regular 3D view on the document page, and it has a bill of materials that's tied to that 3D view. So if I select from here, I'm getting selection over here. So this is covered, how to set this up is covered in numerous tutorials and uh, some of the other videos we have online. But what we're trying to do in today's lesson is I'm going to insert another 3D view. So I go to Insert Ribbon and then insert another 3D view, and we'll just put one right down here. And what we want to do with this view, I'm going to select the same model. I'm not going to import a new one. I just want to say OK. And what I want to do with this is set this up. Let's go now to our home ribbon. You see it's the same model. This one's not in an exploded view orientation, but this one is. What I do want to do first, let's set the render styles the same. I want to take this, this render style. I'm going to assign it to this, memorize this current style, and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to apply it. So that's one way to kind of copy a render style from one to the other, just a little tip. Okay, so now what we want to do is set this view up to, when I select a part here, only that part shows up in here. So we need to go into Edit Page Mode. I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to right-click and choose Properties. And this is really just a matter of setting up a simple flag. So we go to the Import Properties, Advanced Settings, and I want to say Show Selected Object Only. So if I do that, and we now go close this back out, it's just that one flag, Show Selected Object Only. And if I go into rotate mode and I begin selecting, you'll see that I now get a zoom view on only the selections. So if I have, it's pretty self-explanatory. If I'm selecting in the table, then this view here only shows me what's the selection. And I can also do the same thing here. I can right click and I can uh, select this part. And all I get over here is that selection. Now this is a, I, I brought in this sample with the table built in and the uh, view as a good demo that we could quickly show this. Um, obviously, well maybe not so obviously, you can set this up where you don't have the table or you only have the table. Um, either way allows you to do a selection only mechanism on uh, the view down here. 